Hey guys, the ET Reviews here, and I know you all love jailbreaking your iPhone, so I've got my top 10 jailbreak tweaks here. So at number 10, we have Activator. Now what this does is activate things from anywhere, really. So if I choose, say I want to double tap my status bar say I can I can choose it so it can lock my device so I click lock device and when I double tap my status bar my phone locks I've also set it so when I double tap my clock um, it will unlock my phone so if, if I just double tap that it'll unlock it so that's activator it's free from Cydia and here we go into number 9 at number nine we have forecast now what this does is it adds a nice weather widget to your lock screen you can see the time the date what weather it is and how many degrees it is another cool feature with this tweak is that you can see the weather for other days as well from friday to wednesday this is very much like the widget in the notification center and does in fact also change when you slide across on your lock screen so it's based on the same thing really and basically this is a really neat feature because I like having having to see my weather from my lock screen and it's just really nice really so yeah let's go on to number eight so next at number eight we have a nice little tweet called barrel now what this does is it gives a nice like animation through when you're changing your icon pages and you can choose different modes such as there's a lot to choose from basically and I have mine as cube inside and so what this does is it, it, you can see it gives a nice little animation like when you turn your page for your icons there's also a lot of other ones such as like page slide up which makes it like that so yeah that's barrel and let's go on to number seven so next at number seven we have a tweet called reveal it costs one dollar ninety nine on the city store available from the big boss repo so what this does is it when you get a text which we will be short and expertly from apple it will make well say if you have a long text it will let you read it all by scrolling down horizontally now you can see here that that usually uh, your iPhone would only show you this much of writing from a text message however now I can scroll down and read the rest of it without having to unlock my phone now this is really useful if you're getting long notifications all the time so that's re that's called reveal it's $1.99 so let's go on to number six so next at number six we have this tweet called any lock app it's free from the big boss repo now what this does is it creates a setting uh, in your settings menu and what you can do is you can choose what app to do when you slide up from the lock screen so I've chosen to open my clock so when I lock the phone and then I can slide up and you can see that it's made a little clock icon where the usual camera slide would be so if I just slide up my clock app will open now you can also turn off having the icon show in the lock screen so if I do that no clock icon is there anymore it's just the camera one but the clock app still opens so that's any lock app at number six now let's move on to number five so next up at number five we have a tweet called do not disturb now this is probably one of my most used tweaks yet so what this does is simply just creates a widget in your notification center and it's very much like the iOS 6 style and it just says do not disturb and you can turn it on and off so what this does is basically if you get notifications and have your do not disturb on then you won't feel a vibration or anything but your notification will still come up in your notification center 
which is really useful say if you're in school or in a meeting and you don't want your phone to vibrate and stuff so yeah that's that's uh, do not disturb at number five next up at number four we have a tweet called by SMS now what this does it replaces your normal messaging app however you can still use that too so this what has a few nice features such as in your notification center you can use the little the little byte SMS button and what this does is it creates a new message so uh, another new f another feature in this is also that say on my lock screen and I get a message say from someone which w which I will be expecting now see we oh from Apple we love Android it says okay and so what I can do is I can either leave the message to later I can call the person that who texts me I can open it or I can reply straight from the lock screen and there you see I just press that and the keyboard comes up so I'll just close that and I can see I can also see my conversation that I've had with them as well from the top so I'll close that and just turn the screen back off so this is a really useful app and it comes in uh, as an icon on your desktop on your springboard basically and it's just a normal messaging app it's just there so here at number three we have a tweet called fusion now what the, now this costs two dollars and what it does is ooh, basically I've assigned it so when I double tap my status bar a little uh, the little notification thing comes up so there you go I can compose anything and what it does is I, it makes it so I can send Facebook statuses or I can tweet or use Foursquare or MySpace so say if I want to say hello and I can click if I want to send it to Facebook or tweet it I can use all four I can also send pictures and also have what song I'm playing and also use my location as well so this is like the iOS uh, integrated Facebook feature but I, I think it's really nice as well so for iOS 5 users you can use this for to counteract uh, iOS 6 features so that's Fusion at number three. So here we are at number two. Now this is SB settings. I'm sure you all know what this is. So what we do is we swipe across the top and we have all our toggles of what we want to turn on and off. And another feature is, see, earlier on I was talking about by SMS. You can turn off your SMS alerts and turn them on as well from here. Now this is really easy if you want to just control everything from like your brightness to your Wi-Fi and it can save you a lot of battery as well. You can also respring your device and you can theme this as well to make it look nicer. So that's SB settings at number two. Now let's go into number one. So number one, the most useful app for myself is called Zephyr. This is $4.99 and what it does is it makes it so you can swipe up to close apps like that and also you can easily say say you're in an app already like let this load if you swipe just a bit up you can open your uh, your multitasking bar also adds a feature so when you swipe down your notification center it'll give a nice effect too this comes in a setting uh, here just at the bottom and you can change the sensitivity from normal to say insane or gigantic and you can also swipe from left to right to change between apps this is really useful and really quick you can set it so when you swipe up from the bottom you can just have the switcher only or you can close the app as well you can have you can change the switcher delay as well so Zephyr is the number one app and my most useful app so if you like this top 10 of jailbreak tweaks please like comment and subscribe